What's up family, it's Christy, the mobile home diva. And in today's video, I am going to be touring this beautiful house. It's the Buckhead. I'm out here at Wayne Fire Homes in Byron, Georgia. This home is amazing. I can't wait to show it to you. Let's get into it. I just wanted to give you a brief look at the front of the home. It is noisy because I am right on the side of a highway, but this is the front of the house. You have this vinyl siding. You also got the board and bed around the front door. Always a nice touch. Love all the windows in this home. Love it. I love it already. Let's take a look at the back of the house. This is going to be the back of the home, you guys. That's going to be the back of the home. So you have a side door, not a back door on this model. And again, it's so noisy out here. Let's just go ahead on the inside. <laughs> Okay, so this is the inside of the home, you guys. We just came in through that front door right there. Look at all the space that you have here in the living room. You got these three large windows bringing in a lot of natural light. Love the entertainment center. They do have this here that's helping support the house because it isn't put together. But as you can see, around there, you got all of these built-ins and space for your TV, a large space for your TV. If there are any pictures on mine, I'll definitely show it to you. But I love how they have the um, wood-like, uh, maybe that's shiplap, but wood-like, um, just a lot of textures over here. You have stone down here. It's surrounded by built-ins. This is like a tin. And then you have your wood here. You have lots of space for decor. And you could just make this a really, really nice space. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Again, if there are pictures online, I'll be sure to share that with you as well. So all of this is your living room area. Again, a nice large space for your living room. So all of that is living room. Now, they do have the vents in the ceiling in this model, but they do not have the finished drywall. So that might be a feature that you want to add or uh, inquire about if you're interested in this home. On into your kitchen, dining room area. They have this counter space here. Not really a peninsula or something like that for benches, but it does serve as like a divider of the room and it brings out the stone that is in the uh, entertainment center over here. So that complements that stone right here. You have shelving all around this beautiful kitchen. Uh, including right here by this divider. You have this uh, space here for to serve as like a, a, I would probably make it a drink station or have like dishes or my pretty pots on display over in this area. You could also use it as uh, like a buffet area because your dining room, I don't know what's going on with my gimbal today. The space right in front of it will serve as your dining room. 
okay so you can be creative like whatever you decide to do don't mind my drone and my keys those are my things but whatever you decide to do in this area like you could be creative it doesn't have to be the typical thing but all of this is your dining room area and you do have this great space over here that you can make it what you want i see pretty dishes or decor on top maybe a drink station on the cabinets and then storage underneath possibly put some beautiful plates or um, uh, pots and things on the bottom because that's a large space down there like you could put a lot of stuff here but because it's open I wouldn't want it to be cluttered so it definitely would be things that I want on display on into the kitchen you have this island here it's sideways um, which I love because Whoever's sitting at the island, as you're cooking, you could be talking to them. It just kind of gives it a separation of space instead of facing back out that way. Either way, I feel would be cute, but I kind of like that it's sideways this way. You have the tin here on the bottom, which is complementing the tin on the entertainment center. And you have lots of storage space in this kitchen. We'll walk around and look at it love that they have the darker countertops is in here as well you have two windows that you can look out of when you're doing the dishes nice industrial sink and um faucet and then you have lots of storage space over here as well around your stove ceramic stove top built-in microwave which is nice and then of course storage under the island so really really nice didn't talk about the uh, additional storage space here in your dining room area on that stone wall divider but you have that also which is you know storage if we can have as much storage as possible that is always a plus all right, let's go on into the laundry room here. This laundry room already looks like a great space. As you can see, you have counter space right here behind the door. You have these cabinets, top and bottom. Let's take a look in. So you have cabinet space, top and bottom. And then you have shelving in the bottom as well, which is always a wonderful feature. All around past the back door, you have additional storage space here. So you have three shelves here. You also have cabinet space above your washer and dryer. And you have cabinet space between your washer and dryer with space for folding. Love it. You have an extra outlet here if you want to put a deep freezer in here. Wonderful space for your laundry room. Like this is a nice laundry room. So that's the view coming into the laundry room. And then I'll show you the view All of this space is laundry room. And again, you have your back door here. It's a side door, actually. And you can put a deck or something out there. Really nice. Coming into the laundry room, you have this pantry space. You, can, you have so much space in the kitchen that you can use it for detergents and cleaning supplies. Or you can use it as a pantry. Really nice. Really lovely. On the other side of the refrigerator, you did have more storage space. So I'm gonna give you another pan around and let you see just how many cabinets and drawers you have in this space. You have a drawer for every cabinet and they're not just decoration. These are actual drawers. 
really nice. Not soft clothes, but really lovely. Love the uh, butcher block on the island. Just a beautiful house. I just love this house. You could do so much with this house. We're gonna take a look at the secondary rooms. To the right of the front door, you have your secondary rooms around this corner. This is the first secondary bedroom here. So you have this bedroom, large window in this room, and then you have a walk-in closet. Really nice. It's a cloudy day, you guys, so I'm glad you're, it's not too dark that you can't see. So this is the first secondary bedroom. And then right next to it, you have your second secondary bedroom here. Another large window in this room. And then I don't know if you'll be able to see into this one, but it is a walk-in closet as well. Really nice. Now, next to this bedroom, you have your secondary bathroom. Got a nice tub and shower combo in there. On your vanity, you have double sinks, double mirrors, and then your vanity lights will go up top. Really lovely. So that's your secondary bedroom, I mean bathroom. And again, this is right here at the living room. You've got this little hallway going into this space. And so your bathroom, bedroom, bedroom is right here. Now, that's the secondary room. On the other side, of this entertainment space is the master. So you've got this large room that serves as your master. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I love this wallpaper. It's kind of textured and it's not one color. It just, I don't know if the camera's gonna do it any justice, but I just love this wallpaper. Really nice. Okay, so this is your master. Again, you have a large, this large room is master. You can put your bed over here between the windows, or if you choose, you can put it on this large wall, but either way, or you can put it on this wall. Either way, you have enough space for a king size. Really nice. So going into the master bath, you have your huge garden tub to the left with a large window that opens. Does it open? I don't think it opens. No, that window doesn't open, but you have a large window. Love that they have a blind up there. Across from the large garden tub, you have this large vanity with makeup area. Love the feature wall that's similar to the uh, feature wall in the entertainment center. Again, if you're not real farmhousey, you can talk to the uh, facility about changing that wall if it's not something that you like. So you don't have to not like the home just because of the farmhouse features. You can always order the home the way you want it. This is my first time seeing so many drawers in a bathroom. Love it because you got cabinet space on either side of the sink but you also have the cubby holes the cubbies down here the small cabinet space and then you've got two sets of drawers in here so combs and brushes makeup uh curling irons uh clippers just whatever you need to put in there i'm gonna include the guys and say clippers on the other side of this wall, you have your toilet. Gives you a measure of privacy, which is always nice. And then you have this huge shower here that has the rain shower, shower head in it. And you have a regular people bench. I say that because sometimes the benches in these houses are just too small. <laughs> you got a regular people bench in this shower. Huge, huge shower that also looks out 
into the bedroom and the garden tub. So I'm going to take a step in and show you. This is a view from in the shower. Really nice. All right, and then your master closet is back here. Okay? Really nice. Alrighty, so this is it, you guys. This is the Buckhead. It's out at Wayne Fire Homes in Byron, Georgia. If you're interested in the home, all the information on this home, including who to contact, is down in the description box below. They don't post prices in these homes because with the uh, lumber prices, the price changes all the time. So this particular facility, I've toured it before, doesn't post prices, but they're really nice here. So give them a call. Their information will be down below.